hot, sweaty, stinky, completely a mess. Welcome to Colorado. So, I was minding my own business this morning, uploading videos. We got a couple guys who came by, uh, Paris and Brian yes, from the Unger family, and also Cap West on uh, Instagram. Uh, all three of them, well you guys came together, yep. he came first. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't even made a video here yet, because I'm trying to catch up on stuff. And uh, I'm over at the Custom Coachworks, uh, Colorado Custom Coachworks. And Paris, my man, I'm very, very glad that he stopped by because you have something for me. I have a lot of oil for you. It's gonna be good. A lot of vegetable oil. A lot of vegetable oil, free oil, no more diesel. So I can travel for free now. And that's from uh, two of your restaurants? Yes, Jim and Nick's, North Glen and Northfield. Okay, what kind of food is that? It's a pork. We um, I do ribs, chicken, barbecue, brisket, beef brisket, all oh, types man. of stuff. Oh man, I should have brought. Cooking. I should have brought Claire Bear there. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you guys don't know it, but I hung out with Claire Bear in the mountains for a couple days in the hot spring. But I just want to thank you guys for coming by. It was so nice to meet both of you. We'll be in touch. I'll, I'll come by and get some oil. And uh, uh, you are thinking about doing a bus yourself? I'm gonna do a bus here in the near future, within the next couple of years. The channel is called The Hunger Years. We do family vlogs, travel vlogs. Hell yeah. And eventually bus vlogs. And congrats on the new daughter. Appreciate it. <laughs> you got it, man. Thanks much. for coming by. All right, Jax. We'll see you. See ya. What you working on? I'm trying to fix their bathroom up, man. Sweet. Alright, everybody, this is uh, Colorado Custom Coachworks. The way it's working is uh, their buses for their clients are on this part. Well, this one too. They specialize in roof races and uh, school buses. The DIY side is over here, so we're going to put the bus in at some point. I will be doing a little work on the bus today with Cap West. Um, he's on Instagram, by the way. Uh, and actually just sold his bus. That's a cool story. But uh, I think we're gonna get the bus back in here. And uh, as you can see, people are doing all sorts of interesting things on their buses. It was all, so I feel right at home here. Um, I've never seen so many schoolies <laughs> being built at the same time in one location. All right, I am not a fan of a roof raise, but my, oh my, my mind may have been instantly changed. Look at how much space there is in this thing. Well, let's just go like this, because maybe you can see. Normally my roof is here, and they raised it. I can I can barely touch the roof on my tiptoes, right? Like, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of space. You can see where they added in uh, more metal here on the side So uh, yeah, this is what a roof raise looks like guys uh, Wow, this thing is massive. All right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Today's mission before Michael gets here tomorrow or the next day We're gonna clean these up sand them and then we got some more uh, Bondo product We're gonna put right on top of it if anybody's curious. I'll show you right now. All right disclaimer You guys know I'm not a professional so I think I'm doing these things backwards, but I'm putting this stuff on top of the Bondo body filler. I think it's supposed to go the other way. Anyways, somebody's here. All right, we both used uh, hand block sanders. That's my setup. And then I got out the drill and I did the exterior part of it and I just handed it over to Cap West and he's uh, kind of doing the same thing. There was some adhesive caulking that was left on there so we that was very helpful to use that uh, little wire circular thingy. All right, so we were definitely using some stuff from the uh, Middle Ages here. Sandpaper uh, blocks. We're using this, uh, well, you saw before. Now we got set up the right way and pick these guys up here. This is the right way to do it. Just had to show you the wrong way to do it first. <laughs> Just kidding. This is an air powered uh, sander. So, I'm just gonna, you know, do my thing, clean it up. Here we go. 
That's what we got right now. We, uh, well, I don't know what we're, I forget we're using some fiberglass stuff, Bondo glass. Uh, it's Bondo body filler. I'm not a body person, so feel free to laugh in the comments or feel free to educate me. But uh, this went on first and that went on second. And I have a feeling that that is the wrong to, uh, way to do it, but whatever. It's gonna be covered with paint and a sticker. All right, this is now a couple days later. I had to wait for the stuff to uh, dry off. And doesn't that look ugly like a swamp up there? Looks like some kind of like algae, algae water. Anyways, I'll show you guys the finished product when I'm done. Four. Four days. Four days. Worked on this thing for four days. Let me show you the progress. Well, you can't really see, but it's smooth, super smooth and flat. That one and all three of the other ones have been primed, sanded. This one I screwed up on, didn't put enough uh, hardener in it, so I had to scrape all of it off, put it back on, sand it down. Now it is fine. Now it is time for the final, well, the first coat. It's time to prime it. For anybody looking to do this stuff, get yourself an air compressor with a, a little sanding thing. There's three products on here. Body fill, Bondo body fill, Bondo fiberglass, and then Dolphin glaze. Dolphin glaze is this uh, teal color right here. So I'm just gonna spray this thing up. Oh, there's a sander I used. All right, watch. <laughs> It's not that bad. Look at that. Wow, that's perfect. This one's my best one yet. The other one's not as good. This one's I'm pretty impressed with myself on this one though. It's nice and flat. You can't even see the little imperfections or anything on this thing. Would you look at that? If YouTube doesn't work out, maybe I'll become a body man. Did I say four? I think I'm at five. Five days. Five or six days for all that stuff. Oh, might as well show you the front. Five or six days. Me and uh, Cap West tried to uh, sand by hand <laughs> at first. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't really know what you're doing. But luckily the guys over here at Colorado Custom Coach Works pointed me in the right direction. You can see a couple little bumps and imperfections. Like I said, the, that last one I just did is the best one, but uh, mission accomplished. It is uh, flat. That's where I'm thinking a YouTube logo will go. And an Instagram, and then in the middle, Jack's Austin, huh? All right, well the sign is hung, everything is official. This place just opened uh, not too long ago. Nobody's in here right now. We're having a, a meetup tonight. Now, by the time you guys watch this, this is gonna be two weeks ago. Um, I did post on Instagram stories. We're having a meetup, and I also put, um, I uploaded a photo. Uh, so if you're subscribed, it'll show up into the feed. And I said, everybody's welcome. Come on out, 7.30. But I will do a separate video for another meetup. We're gonna be here all the way through the end of September in Denver. Um, so if you guys happen to be in the area, um, you know, you can stop by after seven or something, eight. Uh, during the day, it's kind of hard because we're gonna be working, but just wait to the meetups. Um, and uh, yeah, unless you're like bolting through town or something. Uh, but yeah, so this is a shop. I'm gonna pull the bus right in here. I, don't know, I, think, I, <laughs> I think I showed you guys this bus before. This is Nick's, he's a character. And don't ask what's going on with a bus. I, I don't even know, I'm not even sure if he knows exactly. But uh, we got a few other DIYers. wires. We got a little shorty over there. Uh, got another shorty right there. And then these are the buses that the guys are contracting. They do some crazy things. And actually a really sweet girl that I met before um, is having him build this one. And there's a Fiat going in the back with a ramp that comes down. She's putting a car inside a bus. It's like a toy hauler, it's crazy. But um, yeah, these guys are badass hot rod mechanics, fabricators, welders paint guys they can do it all here so I feel really good about being in a place with so many tools and um, you know we have a nice you know relationship worked out where 
you know, we can come in and work on stuff and, you know, we just tell everybody how rad these guys are and, you know. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but this is a place, if you do not have a place to build your bus, there is a, a, a basically this half is a DIY half. Um, they got all the tools, they got all the um, equipment, you know, just things you got to purchase like sandpaper, things that like, you know, you use, they call it expendables. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you can come in here and build your bus and, you know, probably ask for some advice too along the way. They're super, super helpful guys. So this is where we are and uh, just going to relax and check in with you guys in a little bit. Guys, look who it is. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's Claire Bear. Yeah, and dill pickles. So we're uh, a little bit before the seven o'clock hour, a couple hours before that. The girls decided to show up a little early, be fashionably early. That's why I like you, girls. You're not the fashionably late type. Definitely had my. You're the late one. There's a lot of those fashionably late people in LA, so I'm not the LA type of people. But uh, look who is here. You guys might not know because this is a new rig, and. Um, I met Ben and Rebecca over at uh, Fun for Louis' arrival party from around the world. If you guys don't know them, they've been traveling around in an RV. Uh, they are from Alaska. Clearly, this is not an RV. Hi. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Good. What on earth is this thing here? An expedition vehicle. Expedition. Hey, what's up, Ben? So, uh, expedition vehicle. Four by four? Yes. So this is like a overlander type vehicle? This is a go option. anywhere and no more boundaries type of vehicle. <laughs> yeah. This is diesel anywhere in the world, parts anywhere in the world. Nice. Any road in the any world. Any road in any weather. Yeah, nice. So um, I don't want to ask how much because I know sometimes oh, people don't like... K. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So. Dude, people at a gas station. <laughs> Everybody asks. So yeah. just be honest. Yeah. You know, why add to the, you know. Can we get a quick little tour? Sure, dude. Cool. Come on in. All right. It takes so, about three steps. Three obviously, minutes. like some lightweight steps that fold down. And this is on a, basically the where a, the back of a, like a box truck or moving truck, like a U-Haul truck would. Yeah, let me you know, kill this. the fan so we can actually cool. hear each other. Uh, yeah, it is pretty much like a cargo or cube truck, mm -hmm. and uh, just with a camper inside. That's awesome. And insulation. Nice. So up here, I'm guessing this dining room, dining area oh, slash bed that office, folds over. Bed, <laughs> kitchen. Yeah. Um, 12 volt refrigerator. Nice. So uh, we're also a single fuel source. No uh, propane. All diesel, and it can be any type of diesel. Cool. No def fluid or ultra low sulfur. Requirements. Well, if, if you're if you're feeling brave, I got some vegetable oil over there. <laughs> cool. Um, and then hamper and inverter, charge controllers, and all that under there. Yep. Nice. Uh, contraband box under here. Okay. Kitchen cabinetry. Yep. And everything locks and yep. uh, nothing wiggles around too much. Yeah. Pretty good there. Cool. Um, wet bath. Nice shower With toilet combo. Cassette toilet. Excellent. That's been a challenge. You yeah. Eyeballed in the park when you're trying to empty it. <laughs> yeah. Some dude I was know. getting all up in my business today. I'm like, you got a question? <laughs> <laughs> it's There's like the master suite. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Queen size bed. Mm -hmm. TV. Yep. Uh, AC. Uh, or you got a thermostat? I'm guessing yep. for AC. Therm yeah. Thermostat, fan controls. Cool. Heaters, so it's got a diesel furnace. Yep, excellent. Uh, where's the stove? Diesel stove. Awesome. So diesel stove, I've been, wow, that looks like it's some kind of convection diesel stove. Uh, huh? It's glass top. Excellent. So the burner's all under here. Mm -hmm. It's really only one burner, and then the residual heat goes this direction, so you can simmer on this side. Wow, that's really cool. Sink. Man, this yeah. is super cool. You know, Thanks, I've been thinking about getting, like, after this vehicle... <coughs> Uh, after the bus life, maybe getting something a bit more aggressive. So yeah. you have my wheels spinning right now. Yeah, we did a Class A motorhome for seven years. So you guys are well experienced uh, road trippers well, and RVers. Yeah, that, yeah. And we're tired of having to leave Alaska by September for a less eventful passage. 
it can be done. Yeah. But every day that goes by past October, the odds of an eventful passage. Really yeah. Increase. Yeah, a couple of friends went up there and I saw the road and I, I don't know if I'd want to be on there when it's snowing and. Oh yeah, it, it's a mess. Yeah. And now we got no borders or an issue. That's so cool. Dude, high five for the new yeah. rig, man. <laughs> so, it's a little hot out here in Colorado, so I just offered Claire the chance to cool down a little bit. Hey, Nick. So here, I'm gonna give the camera to Dill Pickles first. So just hold it. Just hold it. Okay, you ready? Here is half of the amount of people who came up. This is the end of the night. Kind of forgot to, to film, kind of intentionally didn't film. Uh, just catching up with people one on one. There were some subscribers that came by. There was people from a tiny house festival early in the day, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna call it a day. We're gonna do another meetup, but next time I promise I will uh, give you advance warning. And uh, so that's it for today. We're gonna start crack on the whip. We're going to make this thing turn into something similar to Mike's. I'm going to go jump in a group photo. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.